Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is the one, the only, your favorite Virgo, your favorite host with the mostest candy ad created by Candy. And as you can see from the title of today's video, we're going to be talking about softwares and the softwares that you should use as it relates to graphic design. If you're new, go ahead and hit subscribe. And if you owe, oh, mm, what it do, baby? Yeah. If you did not know, this video is a part of a series I have started on this channel called Design Decoded. All these videos will be in a playlist linked down below so that way you can get all the graphic design tea, know all the basics that you need to know before starting off as a graphic designer to avoid a lot of commonly made mistakes that veteran graphic designers like myself have made, okay? Before I go any further, I just wanna say designer to designer. Don't let anyone tell you that you're not a designer because you don't use all the softwares listed. Don't let anyone tell you that you're not a designer because you only use one of the softwares listed or two of the softwares listed in this video. You're a designer because you say you're a designer. The tool is only as good as the user, okay? So keep that in mind, all right? All right. <laughs> So let's just hop right into this. So the first software we're gonna talk about is Adobe Photoshop. So Adobe Photoshop is a raster graphic editor used for editing and manipulating digital images. It's widely used for tasks such as photo editing, imaging, retouching, and creating digital art. So, I mean, Photoshop has the name in like within there, like Photoshop, okay? <laughs> It's photo related. Yes, you can use text within Photoshop. Um, and I'm not gonna say like, I don't recommend using it because I mean, it's available to use for a reason, use it. But when you think of Photoshop, I want you to think photo, photo, Photoshop. Very simple. <laughs> Next, we have Adobe Illustrator. Adobe Illustrator is a vector graphic editor used for creating illustrations, logos, icons, typography, and other scalable graphics. It's particularly well suited for tasks that require precise lines and shapes. So Adobe Illustrator, you're gonna use that to do a lot of your branding work, creating logos, things of that nature. Um, you can use photos within Adobe Illustrator, but I mean, why do that when you have Photoshop, you know? So next we have Adobe InDesign. So Adobe InDesign is a desktop publishing software used for creating layouts for print and digital media. Graphic designers use it to design magazines, newspapers, brochures, flyers, and other types of publications. So if you wanna try to design like an ebook or maybe a brochure for like an office, maybe you would like to design an obituary that is in the style design of a brochure, you would use Adobe InDesign. Next we have Affinity Designer. So when I mention Affinity Designer, a lot of people are like, girl, what are you talking about? <laughs> Affinity Designer is a vector graphic editor um, similar to Adobe Illustrator. So it's known for its performance and affordability, offering features for creating illustrations, icon, and other vector-based artwork. So I myself have used Affinity in the past and using Affinity compared to using Adobe Illustrator, they're very similar. So I'm not gonna say like if you use one, then you use the other, cause I, that would be a lot, but they are very, very, very similar in a lot of things and features that they offer. Um, one is just a little bit more affordable. Next, we have Procreate, which is one of my favorites. Still to this day, love Procreate. Procreate is a raster graphic editor designed specifically for digital painting and illustrations on iPad device. So it's popular amongst artists and illustrators for its intuitive interface and powerful features. So a lot of like the digital art that we see today on social media is done in Procreate. I feel like if you... Like Procreate is 10 out of 10. And Procreate is a big reason why I even got an iPad. I'm just gonna be honest. Yes, I spent a lot of money. <laughs> I was about to say the price. Uh, if, you, if you have an iPad, you know, I pretty much got an iPad because of Procreate. At the time, I wanted to get into like digital illustration for branding work, but that fell off quickly because I found that I don't like to do it as much as I thought, so. <laughs> But Procreate is a really good um, software to use for digital art. I mean, you can use it for other things as well. You can upload like um, fonts onto the iPad and use them within Procreate. You can uh, edit pictures, tweak pictures, do a little touch up and stuff like Procreate. I love Procreate. Like if, if you have Procreate, comment down below, like what is your favorite feature? My favorite feature is probably i say all the overlays like i love how the the like i'll be changing like my shirt colors and stuff like that in procreate not photoshop not anything like procreate i just go to procreate outline it real quick boom 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 change my shirt colors like and last but not least we have miss canva canva is a web-based graphic design platform that offers a wide range of 
pre-designed templates for various types of projects, including social media graphics, presentations, posters, and more. They also added where you can like create websites basically within Canva. So you're probably thinking to yourself, what software should I use? As a graphic designer, you should always choose which software works best for you and your creative flow and creative process. But Adobe Illustrator really is like the industry standard particularly for branding work. Um, it has just a lot of features. It is very versatile and it's honestly, it, it's catered for that type of work. However, it is important to note that other software such as Canva doesn't diminish your capabilities as a designer. So Canva offers user-friendly features and pre-designed templates that can be convenient for certain projects. So let's just say you have a project, you're on crunch time, you can always go hop right into Canva and use some of the templates as inspiration and create what you need to create. Or you can always use Canva if the client is asking for a design that they can edit later. They're like, hey, I wanna, um, I want Instagram story templates and I wanna be able to edit them later on. And like if I'm having a sale, I just wanna go in and change. You can always go over to Canva because nine times out of 10, they're not gonna know how to work Adobe. So, so you're gonna have to work with Canva to be able to provide what the client needs. Ultimately, I feel like the two main softwares that you're honestly gonna bounce between are Adobe Illustrator and Canva. Now, I'm not gonna be the end all be all and say you need to use Adobe Illustrator, or you need to use Canva or anything like that. I feel like they go hand in hand. I feel like they're like a handshake. That's a weird handshake right there, but I feel like they're like a handshake, you know. You may not need to always use Adobe Illustrator. It may be more convenient to use Canva. It may be more convenient to do something in Adobe, but I do feel like those two softwares are the ones that you want to get more familiar with because I like I said I feel like they do go hand in hand and I feel like knowing how to maneuver both really is going to be like chef's kiss it's just at easy breezy lemon squeezy okay or should I say easy breezy thugger girl very easy for you all right to create things either swiftly or to give the different file types that a client may or may not need so if if I have to choose for you, I'm gonna say Adobe and Canva. I would say start with Canva if you are intimidated by Adobe. So while you're learning Adobe, you can always get your feet wet with Canva because regardless of the software that you use, the fundamentals of design remain the same, okay? Learning hierarchy remains the same, learning contrast, same, learning spacing and all these things that go, just like I said, the fundamentals of design, they, you have to take them to whichever software <laughs> that you use. All right. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, comment them down below. If you're not comfortable doing so, shoot me a DM over on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, way, way. But no, seriously, shoot me a DM over there on Instagram. Some of y'all be DMing me on TikTok. Listen, I don't be on TikTok as much as I am on Instagram. So DM me on Instagram. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah.